Okay, the next team that's up is Team Detectors from Denmark. Are they here already? Yes. yes? Welcome. Hi. So, hello everyone, my name is Przemysław and we are Team Detectus from Denmark. So, I would like to present you our idea. But first of all, let's focus on customers. So, who is the person who is responsible, who wants to have our device? So, this is the doctors. This is the, the most important people in our chain. So, what problems they have currently? They have a problem with detecting the heart failure. So, by measuring anti P, we believe that they can do it faster and they can do it cheaper, which is really important for them, and also quicker. So, the problem is with time and the money which they have to spend to detect the heart failure. Then we have the emergency, emergency personnel. So, we have Jens. Jens is working in ambulance in Denmark and he has this big problem because he don't know how to do it quickly, how to define if the patient has the heart failure or not. So they require time, it's supposed to be less than two minutes, but right now it's taking more time and it's taking a lot of money because he has to measure the pressure, he has to do the other measurements to detect if the patient has a heart failure or not. And of course we are coming to the, to the sense, to the patient, to the core of this solution. So the, any one of us have been already the patient and none of us really like to be in the hospital. So we want to bring the patients to home. We want to make them uh, this diagnosis of the heart failure coming back to home and make it them in the most, the most reasonable way and the most nice way for them. So how we want to fix this system? We want to provide the very, very, very simple idea using the nano, nanowire sensor with the connection through our docking station to the app of the patient. So now what we can do with it, it's like we can detect the anti pro -BNP level in the blood and then send, send directly through our docking station to the, uh, to the uh, telephone and then to the GP. So this is really important that the patient can spend this time at home instead of staying at hospital, which is also really, really not efficient in terms of money. It's really, it's really money-wise expensive to be hospitalized and also it's, it's super comfortable for the patient. So how do we make money? That's a really important question and this is interesting for you, I guess. So uh, we decided that like our sensor, we did this uh, market projection and the cost of the sensor itself is really cheap because we can, we can do everything. We can do everything very cheaply and we can do it in like one euro per sensor. The most, important, the most expensive part of this solution is the antibody. Currently, when we are thinking about this sensor, the biggest cost is the antibody. So this is the thing which we have to take into consideration in the further development. So we assume that the patient has to use around 60, 60 chips per patient to detect the heart failure or to measure the BNP, uh, uh, anti pro BNP level. So, in the long run, we decided to take a look at the market. The market projections in Denmark are like, there is 10,000 patients each year which are, which are uh, diagnosed with the heart failure, and there is more than 6.1 million uh, globally. Uh, we are thinking, uh, in Europe, sorry, we are thinking that like, right now we are aiming for Denmark, definitely, because we know already the, the doctors, we know the market as itself, and we are Danish, Danish students, so I think this is the right attitude to aim to. So we decided to, to make these projections and with the 20% of the market penetration, we want to reach the amount of 120 thousands of the chips per year, which seems to be reasonable. Then in the next three years, what we want to do? In 2019, we want to start selling the sensor, but till this time, we have to definitely uh, definitely invest in the development of the sensors, as well as uh, have the approval of the C, C mark, because without it we cannot go to the patients, we cannot do anything without it. So that's really important to, to have someone, maybe start a collaboration with someone who already get this certified, 
and go and proceed further. But the projections as itself, you may, you may observe from 2019 to 2020, like each of the quarter of the year. And then we are thinking of like selling this, this sensor from the level of 1,000 per quarter to 230,000 in the end of, the, this year, of the 2020. So that's why our, our projection seems to be growing and the break-even point will go into 2021. So, is there any questions? Sorry. Okay, so the question was if the patient as itself can see the level of anti BNP or any result of the measurement. Yes, definitely, that's what we have. But be because of the fact that we assume that patients sometimes cheat a bit, the doctors, so we want to have it automatically sent as well to the GP. But of course, as from the patient perspective, we took it like into consideration that he has to have an output. So this is really simple idea right now. What we are presenting, we are presenting the anti -pro BNP level on the app as itself. But this is not meaning a lot for the patient. But we are making this code color like the same as the lights on the street. So if the level of anti -pro BNP is too high, then the app is getting red and it's like, kind of in, uh, making an instruction to the patient that he has to contact the doctor. He see also the, the, the amount of anti -pro BNP per level, like per liter. Yeah. In, I mean, it can be, it can be because they, they like each of us, there is some people who don't really want to, to have this disease. Yeah. So they are thinking, okay, I don't have a heart failure. Why am I, why am I supposed to be, to be treated on this one? So that's why we want to have this loop of information, not really dependent on the patient. So we want to bypass the false, false detection of the patient. Any other questions? You said you could do the chip for one euro a yes. go and that would in sales price, I'm assuming? Yeah, like, that's what we are thinking, like, cut, okay. So because of the fact that like, I present you the kind of uh, like a pilot project for the first two years of implementation from 2019 to 2020, to the end of the 2020. So we are thinking that like currently what we can develop, this wafer on which the, our sensors are produced, by using this technology we can produce 82 sensors by one wafer. So it is already scalable. So we are thinking that like, if we take into consideration that the production of the whole wafer is like around 30 euros currently, then each wafer with the antibodies, we can sell it already for one euro with the big profit. So that's what we took into consideration. The biggest problem, as I said, is the antibodies, which we are not manufacturing on our own. We are manufacturing the sensor. So the, there is like by agreement with someone who is doing antibodies or maybe during this the two years development to 2019, we, are start, we will start producing antibodies on our own, but not now. <laughs> Any other questions? Yeah. Coming back, still staying at the, at the cartridge or at the, at the, the consumer piece. Um, you're saying you have so and so many chips per wafer yes. and, and you cut them and whatever, but there's what other steps would that still be involved? You still need some kind of fluid handling, right? You still need some kind of stuff. Like the wound handling? So your fluid handling. I mean, how do you get the, how do you get the fluid in that thing? How you get what? Excuse you me. Get the fluid. The, the, the fluid. Okay. So like so it's really really simple. I will come to the slide with it. I think it's presented quite well. Yeah, of course, definitely. So the question was about like how we are putting the fluid on our sensor to get the measurement done. So. Uh, yeah, is it true? That was the question. The, 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 the question related to that is you didn't mention the cost of that, so you, you only mentioned now the Yeah, definitely. Right. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Like, we, yeah, that's a good point, I think. And thank you for it. But, like, we are thinking that currently the technology which we are presenting, the whole ecosystem, will be quite close to the glucometer. So, like, doing the wand and, like, as itself, using the same pen as they have in the glucometers. It seems, to be, it seems to be really cheap and like doing this small hole in your skin to make the blood dropping on our sensor, it, not, doesn't do, it has to be really expensive. 
So I think the solution is already available on the market and we can just use the same stuff. Anything else? Okay, if not, I really welcome you to go to our stand and check it out. And thank you so much for your attention.